In our previous microtic lesson, we learned how to run microtic on GNS3 using VirtualBox. We made a lab where we connected our microtic CHR to our PC or virtual network interface card, and we were able to access our configuration using WinBox. So what happens if we need more than one router for our lab? Is it possible to use the microtic CHR that we installed on GNS3 more than once? Stick around to find out the answer to that question. Welcome to another informational lesson of Technology for All Academy, an academy that teaches information communication technology for free. To mention but a few, we have Cisco and Microtik series, and we'll be doing other vendor series in the future. For those who don't know me, my name is Tabam Makobe, the founder of Technology for All Academy. In today's lesson, our focus will be on creating a lab with more than one route. Without wasting time, let me open the lab that we created on our last lesson. Now, let me open the devices and add our Microtik CHR again and see what will happen. Let's put our Microtik CHR on our lab and see what's going to happen. And as you can see, it's not possible to use this router more than once. And the GNS3 reply says error while creating node from template. Sorry, a node without the linked clone setting enabled can only be used once or on yourself. Microtik CHR is already used by Microtik CHR1 in this project, which is, the, which is this router that we added on our last lesson. What can we do to overcome this situation and have more than one router on our lab? There are two ways in which we can overcome this situation. The first one is the one that we learned on cloud hosted router in VirtualBox in our Microtik series. You can repeat the same procedure again and import your Microtik CHR on GNS3. If you don't know how to do it, make sure to watch that lesson. It's on our Microtik series. It will teach you a lot and then you'll have the skill that you can use for life. No one can rob you because you took your time and learned what was taught. I'll show you the last part which is importing our CHR on GNS3 and to do that we click on edit then we click preference and on the GUI that opens we go to VirtualBox VMs and then we click new and then here on this GUI that opened on VM list you click the drop down arrow so that you can select the device that you want. In this case, I'm going to select Microtik CHR2. I followed the same procedure that I'm talking about. And this Microtik CHR2 is version 7.7. .7, and Microtik CHR is version 7.6. And in order to show you that, I'll go to my Winbox. And then I'll connect to my GNS3. And inside Winbox, I'll go to System. Then I'll click on Resources. And then if we go down, we can see the board name is CHR and the version is 7.6 stable okay let me close it and then to finish inputting our chr on the drop down arrow let me select my microtic chr2 and then i'll click finish and then as you can see there are the specification of my microtic chr i'll edit the specifications offline to save time and as you can see here's my microtic chr2 let me put it on the lab and see if we can access it select and start it let's add our chr2 to our topology i'll connect it to ether2 and then this set i'll connect ether1 now to show you that my microtik chr2 version is 7.7 .7, i'll use a command line interface so for those who love cli let me open my microtik chr2 for command line interface lovers the command is system resources print enter and as you can see, the version is 7.7 .7 stable. And we are done with the first method. So what is the second method? The second method, we go to our virtual box. And then this method, we are going to clone our virtual box. And in order to do that, I'll select it, 
we're going to clone the 7.7 .7 version i select it and click on machine and then we click the clone button and then we can carry on with cloning our micro tick cr2 and the other way you can select it and right click then you click the clone button and make sure that when you clone a device that device is off because if the device is running you won't be able to clone it okay we'll click next and then we're gonna make a full clone so we click finished and then as you can see here's our macrotix hr2 clone now that we are done with our clone i'll minimize my virtual box because chr1 is still running so the next step or what we need to do right now is to import our clone to gns3 and in order to do that i'll click on edit then preferences and in the preferences gui i'll go to virtual box vm and i'll click new and then on vm list i'll select micro tick chr2 clone and then i'll click finish and here's my specification okay i'll click on edit so that i can edit my specification i would like to use a symbol of a root let me click my classic icons and go down to select my router and on network i want to change number of adapters to eight and also on ethernet i want to make it port one so that we can start with port one or ether one as we all know my cortic devices start with ether one okay and then i'll click ok and i'll click ok again and as you can see here's our micro tick chr clone let me also add it to our topology i'll connect my clone to router one on ether 8 and then on the clone i'll connect it on ether 1 then i'll click the play button so that i can start my router and as you can see this is the command line interface for my chr2 clone it's already running let me minimize it and we can see everything is green on our topology if you want to access all three routers using winbox you have to make sure that you enable roman if you don't know how to enable roman make sure you go through my microtech series and watch my roman lesson and with that this brings us to the end of our lesson hope this lesson was informative and beneficial if you gained a lot from this lesson please make sure to share it with someone who will also benefit from it and also please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you can be notified whenever we drop another lesson last but not least please don't be afraid to leave comments or criticism as they make us grow and learn from our mistakes with that let me love and leave you have a blessed day thank you for watching